Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And today I'm going to discuss a very important topic is training versus certification. Skill versus certification. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video. And um, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Prab Nayar and I'm working as a chief instructor at InfoSec Training. So guys, um, today topic I want to discuss about training versus certification. See, we have a three things, education, training and awareness. Education is all about modify your career. Edu training is all about modify your skills and uh, awareness is basically all about modify the behavior. Now, the reason behind this particular video is that, you know, I have seen a lot of people blindly they follow something. Okay. I don't want to take a name, but I'm just giving example like, uh, and they sell courses based on that only. That is the reason I'm making this video. Now the recent trend is happening is uh, everyone is doing CSSP. Okay, everyone is doing OACP. Because someone told them, okay, if you do CSSP, then they will get a manager position. Or CSSP will basically make you a better cybersecurity consultant. Or if you do OACP or if you do CEH, then you become a better ethical hacker. My suggestion, my experience says that, okay, first, modify or work on the skill see certification is basically a first level to filter your cv okay but once the cv got filtered the interviewer is going to ask you the questions on your skill on your experience now i will tell you in which condition you need to do training in which condition you need to go for certification see now i am from the non it background and i want to make a career in grc Someone told me, do CSSP, your life will be changed. Or CISA, life will be changed. Or CISM, life will be changed. I myself is CSSP, CISM and all that. But it is not true. I've seen a lot of people still are employed even after having a CSSP. Or they having a other management certification. As, as I said, I myself is a CSSP. And the reason behind to make this video is to give you a, my opinion only. Okay. I've seen a lot of people. Okay. Those who are CSSP and they got a good hike. Okay. But my point is that if you are something, if you're new to something, as I said, you are moving from a IT or non IT to information security with this aspect by doing CSSP, you get a good job or OECP good job. No, you should invest your money and time first to upgrade your skill on that area. Example, like if you're moving from IT to information security, you need to identify in which vertical you're moving. Are you moving in GRC? So you need to know how the audit works, consulting works. So instead of investing directly in a certification, invest money in a training. See what kind of a trainings are available by which I can able to enhance my skill on this area. Start with Udemy. See, okay, what are the courses are available on audit? Check YouTube videos. Check in and training institute who offer the training on this particular area. So once you get trained on that skill, update your CV, modify the CV, and then apply for a job. Now you see that, okay, a lot of companies asking a certification from the area, like you are applying for an audit. So you need a CISA example or ISO. Then you can go and do that certification on that because now you have a skill. So if your CV gets shortlisted, your CV got shortlisted, then it is easy for you, okay, to face the question, face the interview because you know the skill now, because you got trained on skill, right? So that is how the training with skill, with certification, get a job. Now you have attended one vendor training or vendor neutral training, whether it's ISAKA, IC Square, Offensive Security, EC Council and all that. And by hook and crook, you cleared the exam also, but you don't have a knowledge. You don't have experience. So even your CV gets shortlisted. And if interviewer asks some questions or, you know, how you convince the CDM management on security or how you convince business case, I want to tell you one thing what you learn in the vendor neutral course or vendor course it is completely different from how the industry works okay and the interviewer who going to ask your questions they asking question based on their project experience not based on what you did in ic square isaka and all that so my suggestion is that if company is going to sponsor your certification you are in a good job 
and you're looking for the next step, next growth, and you know very well, you're very clear that once I do this certification, I can basically move to the next ladder, next step. Then in that case, do the certification because you know, once you clear the exam, the company is going to sponsor. You are itself unemployed. You are in a non-information security industry. You have a limited visibility and you are assuming by doing CISSP or by doing offensive security or by doing this or by doing that, you will get a direct job. It is a wrong move, trust me. So my suggestion is that don't follow LinkedIn, don't follow social media so blindly. Okay, someone did CISSP or someone did uh, IC Square or someone did Isaka or someone did management course and he got a great salary. Definitely he got a salary because he was in that position. And for him, the next criteria to get a job, he need to do certification. That's why company or individual go for certification. They know they need to submit the, the growth chart or CPEs in the company. What is the annual upgraded date? You are an unemployed. You are in a non-information security and just doing directly CISSP or other IC square or ISACRA courses. Okay, it, it would won't give a good returns to be frank. As I said, it is just my opinion. And the, that's, that is the reason I'm making this video. So my suggestion is that if you're new to the area, don't go by any vendor certification. First, try to upgrade your things on a specialist, special skill. If you're planning in a DevSecOps, okay, go for DevSecOps skills. If you're planning in an audit, first learn how audit works. If you want to become a CISO, first understand how CISO works. Invest your money on that area first. Once you basically have a knowledge on that particular area, then you can see how frequently your CVs get rejected because of the certification. And you know very well, if I have a certification, and my CV gets shortlisted, I'm able to answer all the questions which interview going to ask. So in that case, you can invest money in your certification and get the certificate. Trust me, once you have the IC Square or Isaka certification, the salary will be double. I've seen a lot of people like that, but it can be the skill. But I've seen a lot of people like that, even they having a manual certification, they have no job. And they start blaming other people that, okay, I did a certification, I don't get a job. Are you have a knowledge limited to only their certification course. You don't have a knowledge on the skill which is actually happening in the industry. So my suggestion is that if you are fresher or if you have a zero experience, okay, directly don't jump. Understand the skills, upgrade skills, and if job required certification, then go for certification. But if you have experience in a same vertical and company demand you to upgrade and company is going to sponsor, no doubt in that you can go and get your certification done. Certification is a process which only validate the person who claim to be. He knowledge in some area and there's an attestation body who going to attest your profile. That is the thing only. So this video is for everyone. Okay, those who have this dilemma. Okay, if I do this course, I will get a direct log. No. Certification is the only first step to get your CV shortlisted. Your actual thing, your interview will be cracked based on your experience and the skill what you carry. So do let me know how do you find this video and do let me know shall I make more videos like that. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos on a similar topic. So this is all from my side. Thank you so much. Good day. Bye.